So you want to get into ONP 3D printing and you've looked at getting a 3D printer, you have a 3D scanner in your pocket and software available on the market today has been vetted and tried, but you don't want to shell out thousands and thousands of dollars a year just to get a limited set of tools to do 3D design. You want to use software that gives you feature rich tools that allows you to own your own design pipeline and truly innovate on your own ideas. Agnostic CAD is the number one way to do this. It's 10 times more affordable than other SaaS solutions, and it gives you all the tools you need to be able to leverage agnostic manufacturing so you don't even need to run or own a 3D printer. But getting there is really challenging, and one of the best ways to get yourself motivated is to see what's at the end of the tunnel. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you today in this course, this new course on BK and AK Cosmeses. I'm gonna teach you how to build templates inside of Fusion 360 we can take our turnaround time from two hours to set up a template file down to 10 minutes or less per patient based off of a prepared scan. So what does that look like? Well, let me hop in and show you exactly what this course is going to teach you and what kind of templates you're going to walk away with that will be able to do exactly these kinds of things. So we have a template. We have a template of a BK Cosmesis, and it's got some cool features. It's got a thin rimmed wall at the top. It's got ribs on the inside so that it will grip the pylon at 30 millimeters wide in diameter. And then we have a print wall at the very bottom as well, but it gives us a nice 12 millimeter lip to print on using an FDM printer so we know we get good bed adhesion. These are some of the complex features that we decided to put into this product and this template is ready to go. We just need to be able to recycle this between patients. So what does that look like? Well, bringing in a new device, we can bring in a new device to this template brought into the origin we can bring in the scan of the sound side on top of that device. And all we have to do now is bump things around to make these two match. So we're going to go here. We're going to start off medial lateral view. And we're going to be able to use our template to quickly just pull these in. We're going to be able to move now and adjust the diameter. We're going to be able to look at this from the front. And we're going to pull this in just like so. Pull this out just like so. Matching those lines. Let's look at the foot shell now. Let's move this foot shell around to match our design. We can now change the height of the device. So spending two minutes, we've now mapped everything with the sketches and the frame of our template so that everything is in place. We now all all we have to do is just rebuild the rest of the timeline to the end. And just like that, there it is. We now have the ability to see our sound side and our device side together to see how they well they fit. We can move the sound side over if we want to, just to see the difference. And of course, we can also do a section analysis of this device to see how this will fit. And if we need to make any further adjustments, we can. So this might be a little close to that pylon. Let's bring that out. So with that, we are now ready to export. And it's that simple. All right, here's the other example of the product that you would build in this course. This is a very classic AK cover. So this would be fitting a standard C-leg, maybe a C-leg three, C-leg four. And you have spent the time going through this course, building out this template. This template has everything you need to get started, including mounting hardware for magnets or pins and then a collar as well, so that you can connect it to a certain height based off of whatever area the pylon is in. So all these pieces are made, the, the template has been made. We wanna be able to turn that work into a 10 minute workflow for your next patient. So what does that look like? Well, let's bring in our prepared 3D device scan from the training. And then we also mirrored the sound side of the exact same scan and brought it in on top of our template. And all we need to do now is change uh, the shaping of this and update the mounting hardware so it all matches. So let's try that out. A little high, so let's do 315, 311, about right. Let's start dragging these around. So again, we're just using the lines and the free floating splines that we left behind in our template. Let's look at it from the front now. And do the exact same thing. All right, so let's jump ahead now in the template when we have our mounting built from this curved network to see if this matches. Now our mounting puck is in the wrong spot. This is on 
the uh, the foot, um, the actual foot device, as it looks like. So we actually need to bring this much farther up. And these mounting points as well are also clipping with the sea legs. So we're going to have to make sure that all of that is accounted for. So let's use our template and just quickly bump these around. Let's see what that gets us when we change one of the foundational sketches for this template. Look at that. We have customized mounting placement as well as a full generation for the puck in a more conducive area. So we are now ready to create the export for this part using a template that only needed to be modified for probably less than five minutes. This is the kind of workflows that I will be teaching throughout the course. Um, feel free to purchase and see for yourself how this power can save you a lot of time and money using agnostic CAD software.